Hi, Mad Bronco here. Behind me is today's load. The truck I'll be driving is a Scania and the load is two wind turbine blades weighing in at 73 tonnes. We will be driving from Manchester to Swansea, so please join me and let's get trucking. Right, okay, good morning. Thank you for joining me. As you can see, I'm in the truck already, getting ready to leave today. Uh, you will have seen the truck and the trailer in the intro so I think we'll get the engine started and uh, check around the mirrors make sure they're all set up okay as you can see we've got a sat nav on the dashboard today yep the mirrors are okay as well no issues with the width just a standard width trailer so I think we put our lights on and uh, Put on our beacons, we've got beacons on the trailer, and I think we're set off. As you can see, it's quite a nice morning here in Manchester. Bit of blue sky up there, looks like the sun's trying to peek through that bit of cloud. So let's get going. We're off to uh, Swansea, Wales, today with this load. Two wind turbine blades, pretty heavy old load feel the weight already even just pulling it across this car park so let's get out on the road proper hopefully the traffic won't be too bad it's just about 9 30 in the morning so i'm hoping we've kind of missed rush hour here and uh yeah so obviously i spent there's the trailer in the mirror you can just see it pretty cool old trailer it just <laughs> just seems all wheels all the way along obviously because of the weight all right it's pretty clear here let's get going so yeah so I spent the last day or so in Manchester to pick up this load it's Friday today the last load of this week so we've only really had three loads this week oh coming lights have changed already so yeah, hope everybody's okay. A little smart car there, <laughs> um, off the lights. Hope everybody's okay. Hope the weather's nice wherever you are today. Like I said, it's pretty nice here. You can see nice blue sky. So yeah, so we'll uh, get going. Uh, the lights have gone to green, get out of the town, hit the motorway down to Wales it's stopping to let me across I'll take advantage of that thank you so yeah so this is pretty much like I say the last load of this week and uh, so you could say this is the end of my first week of heavy haulage and special transport loads Obviously I've had two heavy haulage, one special transport, the, obviously the special transports are escorted loads, very heavy or, well it's not so much the weight, it's more the width, the height, etc. So you need escorts and for roads to be closed and traffic to be held back yeah I've pretty much enjoyed myself some pretty cool loads so that's another pretty cool one today I don't know why you've suddenly slowed down so much there mate but I need to kind of <laughs> keep going keep my momentum up with this weight on hopefully we won't have any issues oh, the lights have changed I'll be catching all the red lights this morning oh, at least it's kind of leveled out it was just coming up a bit of an uphill slope there so it's levelled out so we shouldn't have any issues getting away yeah hopefully we won't have any issues with the weight it's a pretty powerful old truck um, one of the more powerful trucks in the Scania range so uh, hopefully we'll be alright alright let's go 
pulls away pretty well. You can certainly feel the weight though. So we haven't got to worry too much about the trailer as such, with the width or anything, as you can see there in the mirror. Standard width trailer. Quite long, obviously, with the turbine blades on it. Wow, there's quite a few police cars about this morning. That's it's in loads. Another one just gone past us there. Right. This is us to get up on the motorway. Obviously we're out of town. That was pretty painless. Let's see how we get on with this. Some of these slip roads are uh, quite steep. Or steeper than you would want them with this sort of weight on. Oh, not too bad. steady at the top here there's always a bit of a harsh transition there in some of them obviously with this sort of weight on we need to be a little bit careful with the speed I'm not going to go crazy on the speed today just get a steady speed and put the cruise control on obviously with this sort of weight on it does take some controlling So that's the issue today, is just controlling all this weight. So we're pretty good with the... Um, what have we got here? I'm guessing we want to get over. Come on mate, come past. Showing we want to. Oh, okay. My mistake. Should look at the sat nav first. Obviously, I'm a bit wary after my near disastrous incident on the load the other day, where I nearly missed the junction. Well, no, it wasn't so much I nearly missed the junction. I was on the inside lane, wasn't I? And then I needed to get into the middle lane. That was it. After I came out of the service station. Right, now we need to get in the middle lane. Oh, yeah, heading down towards Birmingham. That's it, yeah. Don't really want to go to Liverpool, do we? Traffic doesn't look too bad. I think that's not too bad a speed for this sort of weight. So we'll get the cruise control on in a minute. Let's get back across, I think. Oh, wait a minute. Where's that lane going to go? Swansea, that'd be us. Oh, someone coming up the inside, that's nice. to the left. So we'll take this a bit steady I think. Especially as it's a two lane slip road as well. Take it nice and easy because you're bound to get somebody coming around the outside like the old ice cream van thing there. Yeah we're doing okay there on the grass. Careful, don't get the trailer across the grass too much. Don't really want it to sink into the grass verge. No, that's okay, we only had the one car or van come past us. Let's 
Wow. Wait a minute. Where's our blue sky gone? The, sc the sky has turned a decidedly grey colour. It's looking a bit ominous, isn't it? I didn't actually see the weather forecast today, so... Looks like we need to stay in the middle lane here for Swansea. get back up to about 40-ish. Stick the cruise control on I think. Because I'm not going to go crazy on the speed today. Not in any hurry anyway. Got plenty of time. Got all day to get down to Swansea. Obviously it's a... I can't remember now. Is it about 8 hours, 9 hours on the ETA? So obviously I've had a look at the map, need to find a rest stop, so I'm going to have a break about halfway, so I've uh, found myself a rest stop, right, you come past me so I can get back over, blimey there's another police car, wow the police, oh great, so I'm just getting over and now we're going to lose that lane, I won't bother to get over then. Yeah, so we'll be stopping about lunchtime. Get something to eat, have a break. Just hope this weather holds. Like I say, the help skies change colour. Looks a bit ominous. We could could get some of the wet stuff. Not what I really want with this sort of weight, but if it does come down, well, we'll have to deal with it, won't we? Obviously, adjust our driving style accordingly. But until such time, I get on as we are and uh, make the most of the dry weather. A little bit of traffic here on this motorway, not too bad for me to worry about. I don't think I'll be overtaking much today. Probably the slowest thing on this section of road at the moment. Not much to see out there unfortunately. To, looks like there's a, some buildings, I'm quite sure where we are at the moment. For a service station, I know that, <laughs> in 200 yards. Now oh, it looks like they're actually constructing the buildings. Yeah, I think they'll stop here actually. I think this was where I planned to stop little bit earlier than I would like but it's a full-blown service station so I think we'll stop here and uh, grab something to eat oh where's the parking for trucks up the back here we don't need to go through the fuel station We've got plenty of fuel on Yes, we we'll park over here on the left. Yeah, I think this was one of the only full, you know, full-blown service stations like this on this route. Actually, there was quite a few just petrol stations, but that's why I picked this one, even though it's maybe a little bit earlier than I would have liked. but we'll take it anyway. I need a comfort break as they call it. <laughs> so I'm going to take a break. I'll see you in a little while.
I have just taken my break as we are about four and a half hours into the journey today. Always a welcome relief to stretch my legs, have a wee and grab something to eat. Anyway, we are making good time today so far and I've had my break so let's get back on the road. Right okay, so I'm back in the truck, I've had my break and uh, as you can see it's still dry even though the sky is still looking like it's going to uh, rain oh no I've said the word that's it right anyway let's get going make the most of while it is still dry be careful this wall here ended up a bit closer to it than I anticipated to pull out if that's okay You've obviously seen the trailer again in the uh, my little piece of camera there. It is a cool trailer, isn't it? You've got to say, with all the wheels. Oh yeah, they are building them buildings up over there. The crane and stuff. All right, pretty quiet at the moment. Let's get out onto the road. Like I say, make the most of it while it's still dry. I have managed to catch the uh, weather forecast while I was in the uh, service station and the forecast is for the wet stuff so I've got a funny feeling we may well see it later but until then let's get going make the most of it while it's dry like I say so we're pretty much what is it about midday 10 to 12 or so so we've still got a few more hours to drive well quite a way to drive like I said I stopped a little bit earlier than I would have normally liked there but that's the service station I decided on oh, what we've got here is speed restriction roadworks or something not much traffic shouldn't have any issues with the width and then bollards nothing coming past us anyway well this truck's decided he wants to come past us takes a little bit steady especially with this blooming concrete um, barrier thing next to us I don't think we're going to get past me buddy I think we're going down to one lane get over take the lane sorry buddy obviously if you've been following me um, on my American truck oh what well, we've got traffic lights oh great yeah if you was following me on my American when I was driving American trucks well actually the last I was in Canada for the last section of that obviously the weather conditions are completely different still pretty much in the same season but every day pretty much was snow up in Canada either on the ground or actually snowing So it is nice to be back in the UK or Europe. Like I was saying the other day, did quite a few months in American trucks. And now we're back in Europe, back in European cab over style trucks. I'm back in my home country at the moment in the UK for this first week. this new season of videos which is all going to be heavy loads heavy haulage special transports which are the obviously the ex, uh, exported escorted loads 
Well, there's another police car, blimey, is that the only cars that are on the road today, police cars? Um, yeah, it's good to be back in the UK driving. Driving on the other side of the road, obviously right-hand drive truck. But yeah, so all the loads this season are going to be, like I say, heavy haulage, interesting loads, no no box trailers or curtain sides or anything like that. Blimey, he thinks he's going to overtake me now. Give him a bit of an opportunity to overtake. Wow, buddy. Oh no. Oh dear. Truck came the other way and he's dropped back. Under normal circumstances, if well, under normal circumstances, a truck wouldn't probably be trying to overtake me. But if I hadn't have had seventy odd tons on, I may well have uh, slowed down some. But obviously, I don't really need to be taking evasive action unless I really need to. Oh, he's going to have another go. Right. Oh wow. I will let the truck slow down without slamming on the brakes this time hopefully you get past no again what are you doing buddy Ooh, look at that. that was a bit take it steady through here I think it's probably why he's trying to overtake me because I'm not going that fast Got a few corners coming up. A church there, top of a church, it's poking up above the trees. Yeah, I do like the uh, UK countryside. Little villages and buildings tucked away in the countryside, and obviously with these heavy loads I will be going at slower speeds so is that little bit easier to kind of do some sightseeing blimey what are you doing mate trying to overtake me through in the, through this S bend gee whiz what's that is that a level crossing which we're going to catch. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so we'll uh, pull up for this. Get to watch a train go past. Where's the train? Pull up to the line. Where's the train? Oh, here it comes. What is it? Oh, it's a freight train. Looks like straight old bit of line and it right up as far as you can see either way oh yeah freight train not much of a freight train a few wagons and that's it all right come on let's go get these barriers up going Ooh, a little bit of a uphill there to get across the well not uphill but a little bit of a incline to get up across the thing that was a bit tricky oh no it's been I mean, it is actually uphill incline here oh not going to get the speed up very quick here are we hopefully mate he's not going to try and overtake me again knowing him he probably will Wow, this is a bit of a uphill drag. Never going to get much speed up, so we just have to. Yeah, he's going to have another go. Might be better if he does overtake me finally. Obviously, he hasn't got much weight on. No. 
there's a car coming. God, this is an uphill incline or a long old drag of an incline. telephone um, mast thing there in the middle of the beautiful countryside kind of spoils it doesn't it right looks like we've crested the incline so we can pick up a little bit of speed won't take it too crazy I don't think it's a bit of a curve coming up ahead of us looks like we actually come back downhill look at that across there that's nice it's going to have another go. Oh no, it's uh, somebody else. Just a tractor unit. Well, he buzzed past pretty quick. Obviously with no trailer on. I think we'll uh, control the speed a little bit here. It's down here a little bit. I'll take this steady. Curves are not too bad. Oh blimey, look at this curve coming up on the sat nav. Long old left hand curve, look at that across there, beautiful. Lovely UK countryside. God, this is some curve. And then it snakes back the other way. Blimey. I think our friend's still behind us. Just caught a glimpse of him in the mirror there. Peeking out from behind the trailer. This is quite sharp, blimey. Oh, a little bit of a straight and then another curve, wow. Quite a busy old road, so only quite a few trucks through here. Oh, here he comes again. Kind of straight tish now, maybe I get past finally. Got a funny feeling he won't. We've even slowed down, look, and he said, Oh, give up. Oh, give up. Tried to slow down there a little bit, as I could see there was nothing coming for a way. He's pulled back in again, so I'll give up. I'll just drive my own, which I've been kind of doing anyway, you know. If somebody wants to overtake, it's for them to obviously do what they need to do to overtake. It's not for me to put them in slow down or pull out of the way. What we got here? Oh, nothing really, just a digger there on the side of the road. I won't worry too much about that. I think that's the railway line over to the left there. Cutting through the countryside. Well, I have to say, the sky looks decidedly blue in front of us. Oh, there comes a car, he's managed to overtake. Um, yeah, the sky, look, just noticed few little white clouds in the sky but it's uh and behind us in the mirror there yeah see look at that decidedly blue and the sun's out there's a few shadows across the road so maybe we're not going to have to worry about the wet stuff today blimey it's a bit of an incline as well there's another police car god blimey we've lost a lot of speed here Oh, 
oh well, we're such a beautiful countryside, you can't really complain about how fast you're going to get an opportunity to have a look at some scenery. Oh, now what we've got coming past is a coach. Do you know, he's got past me straight away, look at that. So I really don't know what that truck was doing with his three or four attempts to overtake. Oh, get downhill. Now another S bend coming up. Look at that. Oh, look at that across there. That's lovely. And with that blue sky as well. Looks like the sun's there. Yeah, look at that. That is a nice view across there. Right, let's uh, keep our eyes on the road a minute through this snaky S bends coming up on the sat nav. Just hope it stays like this for the rest of the day. Be a nice end to the day. Nice end to what's been not too bad a trip so far. Had a couple of issues with a couple of the uphill inclines where I've lost a lot of speed or kind of not struggled so much to get up them but certainly been pretty slow take advantage of this little bit of downhill pick the speed up a little bit still a little bit snaky sky ahead of us, that's nice, sun's up there somewhere, nice scenery, a very nice view out of the windscreen, Looking straight here so we'll uh, <laughs> build the speed a little bit, won't go crazy, yeah that sky ahead of us, very nice. Yeah, because this would have been the next service station, obviously up the road, which is a long way up the road. And as you can see, it's just a petrol station, so that's why we stopped at that full-blown service station earlier on the motorway. Yeah, the sky ahead of us, that's lovely with the sun there, kind of coming through the cloud. Oh, blimey, I wasn't quite expecting you to swing out like that, but anyway, let's keep an eye on the speed here, we've got a speed limit of 30 through here, yeah that sky, that's lovely isn't it, nice blue sky behind us in the wing mirror, door mirror, Yeah, I'll certainly take this uh, for the end of the day. Oh, we've got to stop here. But the looks of it's a junction. It's a bit weird with no line. It's a bit deceptive. All right, let's get out. Watch the blooming curb and the lamp post. It's a nice view now out the front. I can't I can't see that raining now today. Let's just hope it doesn't. Because that is nice, a nice view there. Shouldn't have that much further to go. Get across this bit of cross country Look at that across there, that's nice as well it's nice in some ways to drive cross country because you do get um, nice scenery than when you're stuck on a motorway all steady keep an eye 
on the speed here, so a little bit downhill. A few cars there, the other way. Right, looks like we're coming into a dual carriageway section here, so we'll get across. Let anybody come past that wants to come past. I'm sure our friend's still back there somewhere. like us going by that sign must be that junction that's coming up just in the top left of the sat nav yeah it looks like it oh, well, I don't know what happened to that box trailer that was <laughs> so desperate to get past us oh maybe this is him finally going to get past Way we're going off, so oh, no, I don't know that was him, was it? I don't know where he went then. That's not him either, it's a container. I don't know what happened to him then. Oh, well, not to worry. That's not him either, just coming past. Right, anyway, let's worry about this slip road single lane swirly slip road with the barriers either side take this a little bit careful obviously downhill keep an eye on the speed keep over to the right here should keep the trader away from the barrier on the left That's all pretty good. Get into our left hand lane. Yeah, nice. He says as he shoots back across to the right. Oh, so let's get back into the left. Oh, looks like it's uh, starting to get dark. All the street lights have come on. So we'll turn our headlights on. Obviously, had side lights on all day as well as our beacons that I think we got at the back of the trailer can't actually see them in the mirror still quite a nice sky though isn't it as sunset sets in not that much further to go now I don't think oh it can't be just have a just discovered Swansea yeah that sky looks okay so I think we'll be okay for the weather oh slow down for the speed especially as he's slowed down in front of me oh yeah I can see Swansea appearing on the top of the sat nav so we get this one delivered and then that's pretty much it for this week I'm off uh, tomorrow to do my driving experience first one in the UK or Europe for well, some months obviously I've been doing US and cat Canadian driving experiences so I'm off to uh, Goodwood tomorrow like I say spend the night in Swansea and then head on down to Goodwood tomorrow and then head on home to Dover so I won't be taking my next load out of Swansea for next week I'm not going to say too much about the loads for next week obviously they're all booked up Right, this looks like us, left off this roundabout and then left again, just up the road. Yeah, just left there. So let's turn in here. Oh, blimey. Oh, going a bit fast and oh, geez. Oh, steady. Whoa, slow down. 
That was not very good, was it? Flipping heck. She didn't want to slow down. I think I was didn't think I was going that fast. Yeah, we'll try the one to keep going straight. Wow. That was kind of nearly a bit of a hairy scary moment. Alright mate. You have to wait for the gates to open. Whew. It's kind of helped us in a way a little bit because we're right over to the right, which should help us clear the trailer on the left. That's good, right? So it looks like they want us just here on the right. So let's get over. We're nice and central on the gateway, so that's helped us. <laughs> Even though we nearly went through the gateway or through the fence, but let's uh, kind of forget about that now and. Uh, worry about getting lined up and straight where they want it. Need to get over a bit more to the right I think. So the trailer should pull straight into the bay when we straighten up. We might end up pulling through the bay I think. Maybe just shunting back one. That's not very straight is it? So uh, yeah, I think we'll pull through. And just reverse back once just to get nice and central in the bay, get the truck and trade all nice and straight. And then that's us done for the day. So, what is it just coming up for five in the evening? Still got some of the evening left, so I can go and get something to eat once I get this signed up. That's looking pretty good. I think we'll take that, straighten the wheel up, and uh. That's us done. Done for this trip. Done for, well, this week. So we'll get the handbrake on, get everything shut down. And uh, hope you have a nice weekend. Hope you enjoyed that. And I hope to see you next time. Bye. Well, that's it for today. We have made it to our destination and delivered the load in one piece. So all good there. I hope you enjoyed the video and will join me next time and of course please subscribe, like and comment. Have a nice day wherever you are and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.